A couple of weeks ago, we attended the Xiaomi presentation. There, we solemnly promised you a full review of Mi A3, and not just a listing of characteristics. Finally, the time for it has come. But before we start, I would like to make one small disclaimer. We get a sample from the presentation, and Mi fans, it seems, had been literally fighting to get it first. Therefore, the smartphone came to us with two scratches. From the factory, the smartphone comes without them. Now, let's go! I have the feeling that designers in China have a certain union, which has been on strike for the second year now, refusing to produce something fundamentally new. This design have been used literally everywhere. Well, okay, the aluminium frame is also chrome-plated. Conning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front panel, Gorilla Glass 5 on the back. I'm still indignant about the fact that there are too many letters on the rear panel. Too much. The only thing remarkable is the color. The pearl overflow looks beautiful, although it will not be visible in the case, but you definitely want to protect the device. Below is the speaker and Type-C, above the mini jack, which the good guy Xiaomi did not take away from its users. The volume control and the lock button are on the right, and on the left is a tray for two SIM cards, or one SIM card and micro SD. The front camera is embedded in the display. Someone likes it, someone doesn't. It's up to you. There are no questions regarding ergonomics. It lies comfortably in the hand and is convenient to use. The most controversial moment of this smartphone is its display, or rather its resolution, 1560 to 720. Not everyone the decision behind this, given the rather big 6 and 1 diagonal. However, this only concerns those who worry too much about numbers of use VR. Are pixels visible? A distance of 3-4 cm. From the eye, yes. At a greater distance, no. The rest is quite normal. Super AMOLED stuff with a good margin of brightness and decent viewing angles. For games, for videos, for reading the mobile version of Root Nation. There are bezels around the display, not too wide. I will say this, they are typical of this price segment, although they can be smaller. The only thing that annoys me in cropped videos, although you get used to it over time. I guess I've become an adept of pop-up cameras. I want the top frame be bigger on top. Inside we have Snapdragon 665, an 8-core processor, Adreno 610 and 4GB of RAM. You can guess what game is working fine with no problems. And it works in high settings. There is heating and palpable. But it doesn't cause discomfort, which is quite acceptable. Apps and system work with no problems. The storage size is 64 GB, plus there is 128 version. If you decide to drop the second SIM card and use the microSD, then its volume can reach 256 GB. Cameras. There are three of them. Or to be precise, 2 and 5 48 megapixels wide lens with f1 and 8, 8 megapixels ultra wide with f2 and 2, and 2 megapixel depth sensor with f2 and 4. All of this makes great photos, even at night. The photos are decent. The night mode works fine. Not noiseless, of course, but I had smartphones that cost two times more than that and made photos 50% worse. In the afternoon, on a sunny day, in the afternoon on a cloudy day, the camera, of course, does not shoot at the flagship level, but not so far from it. The only thing you can objectively criticize are the colors that the ultra-wide model produces. It's a bit paler. There are no questions about on a wide-angle lens. The color rendition looks very believable. About details, and especially details in the shadows, I personally have no complaints. What I would like to highlight separately is the portrait mode. It accurately crops the contours and even manually allows you to fiddle with the degree of blur and the result looks really good, even despite the fact that I'm in the frame. In the terms of video, everything is decent. We have 4K and 30fps and Full HD at 60. 
Slow-mo can be overlocked to 120 at Full HD or to 240 at 720p. There are certain nuances. Slow-mo and time-lapse are in very obvious place. How can you find them at all? Only by poking everywhere. In front we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera, F2. You can count on a good selfies. Portrait mode is also works fine, albeit without a depth of field sensor. And and you can also fiddle with the diaphragm slider. There is beautification. Not great, but still. The main thing – there are no million unnecessary filters with the cats, dogs and other nonsense. There are several presets with color filters. All this stuff works on battery with a capacity of 4030 mAh. You can count on about a day of intensive use. Quick Charge 3 is supported. Operational system Android 9 and Android 1. We've talked about it thousand times so we won't waste your time. The main scene is that the system works stably. What frankly confuses is the lack of NFC. A big minus. Security. There's an in-screen scanner. It works quite accurately and quickly. It's comfortable to use. Face recognition is not lightning fast, but you can't call it slow either. And the main thing is that it works even in the dark. Xiaomi Mi A3 is an intelligent smartphone. It's just pleasant to use it, especially the hardware and the camera. Although design is not that good, because it is everywhere. But if you like it, then this smartphone is easily 10 out of 10. Since this is Android 1, you don't have to worry about software. Since there are good cameras here, you don't have to worry about quality of photos and videos. There are no problems with performance, in general. You don't need to worry about anything. And the price tag is quite affordable. Thanks for watching! Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel.